So, ladies and gentlemen, we worked on problems um, where we've certainly had to use substitution, right? We had to solve for one variable and plug it in. And we, you know, it's very easy when you have a variable that's solved, right? You just say, oh, my x and y equals this. Well, the last couple problems we worked on, well, if you don't have a variable solved, you can get a, to solve for a variable, right? Well, we don't always have to do that. We can also use a different process, which we're going to call the elimination process. So what we need to do in the elimination process is, um, if we're not going to use substitution, we need to look at and see, all right, when do, our vari when do two variables have the same coefficient? And let's first look at the y's. Do our two y's have the same coefficient? Do four, are four and six the same? No. 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 Okay. Let's look at our x's. Do our x's have the same coefficient? Yes, they do. So therefore, we can use an elimination process. All right. And if they don't have the same coefficient, we'll have to work to get them in the same coefficient. But that's another video. So since these have the same coefficient, we now need to look at their sign. Now, when they have the same sign, we need to do. Let's see. When this, when they have the same sign, we now need to do elimination by subtraction. All right. So therefore, I have act a positive one x and a positive one x. So now I'm going to subtract. So how do you subtract equations? Well, just like you guys subtract numbers. So what we're going to do, ooh, that's a bad thing. Oh, what a thing. No problem. So all we're going to do is make a nice little bar. Drop that. Woo! Thank you. Appreciate it. I, I almost forgot that I dropped it. <laughs> Um, so therefore, we're going to uh, put those down and we're going to uh, subtract them. So simply, guys, when you're subtracting, this is all you need to do. Listen very right carefully. X minus X equals zero X. Remember, that's kind of like, remember there's a one in front of there that we don't always need to write? So it's one X minus one X is zero X. Four Y minus six Y. Hold on, guys. 4y minus 6y is going to equal a positive 10y. You might say, Mr. Willem, how does that work? Well, you guys, if you get caught up with it, hold on. If you get caught up with it, write it out. 4y minus 6y, a negative 6y. Remember, what happens when we have a double negative? It turns into a positive, right? That's where I got 10y. Okay, so if you if you're getting mixed up, just write it out. It's fine. Okay, then 11 to minus 11 is zero. So now do you guys see what happens? What's zero times anything? Zero. zero. So what I did was I just eliminated my x variable. Isn't that cool? It's awesome. Pretty easy. Yeah, so now zero. solve for y. So I have to divide. I have to get rid of that 10 y equals zero. But now we have to use what we kind of learned from substitution, IV. When we, remember when we find one, found one variable, to find the other variable, we need to substitute it back in. We're going to do that again with substitution. So I'm going to put a zero in for the y. Now it's a little bit difficult in elimination because none of these are solved for x, right? So it doesn't matter which equation you do, just plug it into one of them. I usually like to do the ones that, um, you know, where it's going to be without negatives and stuff. So uh, let's just plug it into this one. So I'll say x plus 4. Instead of times y, I can put in what y equals. Therefore, x equals 11. Okay? Yes. So now I can write it as a coordinate point of 11, comma, comma 0. Is your coordinate point where the two will intersect? And I need to get my cap. Got it? Good? Maybe? Hopefully?